Question 2 of this exercise says, the shoppers who come to departmental store are marked as man, M, woman, W, boy, B, or girl, G. The following list gives the shoppers who came during the first hour in the morning. Make a frequency distribution table using tally marks. Draw a bar graph to illustrate it. So in this question, we have to make a frequency distribution table using tally marks and then we have to draw a bar graph. So let's do it. So let's start with W and count how many are they. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 and one more is left over that is 28. So the number of women is 28. We know that. Now let's count the number of men in the similar way. 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So as we can see that there are 15 men's. Now let's start with boy. Let's count how many boys are there. So 1 and 2, 3 and 4 and one more is there. That makes it 5. So 5 boys are there. Now let's count for the number of girls that are given. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 girls. Now we have to write their tally marks. So for women, we will write the tally marks like this. And this is basically 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and this is 3. So 25 plus 3 is basically 28. Now let's write the tally marks for men. So 15 can be written like this 5, 10 and 15. In the similar way we will write the tally marks for boy and as we can see that they are 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now let's write the tally marks for girls as they are 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that makes 10 and 11 and 12. So this is how we will make frequency distribution table using tally marks. Now let's draw a bar graph. So as we can see that the numbers are 28, 15, 5, 12. So we will take the scale as 1 unit equals to 5 and we will draw a bar graph. So as we have got the data that the number of women are 28. So we will draw the bar graph and 28 is basically just under 30. So we will draw a bar graph between 25 and 30. So this will be the bar graph of the number of women. Now let's draw the bar graph for the number of men. As we can see that they are 15. So as we can see in the y-axis that 15 is here. So we can easily draw for the number of men. Now let's draw for number of boys. So as they are 5 and as we can see here is 5. So we can easily draw for number of boys. Now as we can see that girls are 12. So 12 is basically in between 10 and 15. So it is closer to 10. So this will be the bar graph of the given data. And this is the frequency distribution table of the given data. So this is how we will do question 2 of this exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.